is the Blitz here on 1250 ESPN San Antonio, 94.5 FM, on the go at ESPNSA.com. We're your home for the holidays. and You know, the holidays begin in such a special way as USAA presents to us the Army-Navy game coming up on Saturday afternoon. And we're so accustomed to sitting down and speaking with all these great legendary men and, and former uh, Naval and Army types. We don't get to do it this year, but we're just as close. We'd like to welcome onto the show Napoleon McCallum, a, 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 a legend for so many things that he's done from the Naval Academy to the NFL and everything past. Napoleon, welcome aboard. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Blitz. Hey, thank you for having me. I appreciate you taking the time. And you, you think about this year's game. You know, it's such a rivalry. Now, uh, Army's favorite in this game, which bothers me, but uh, Navy will get the win. But, you know, you, you, the fact that they're playing this game at West Point, uh, at, at one of the academies, uh, I wish it were the Naval Academy. But what does that do uh, in your sense of playing in this game, knowing that it's going to be played at West Point from a Navy perspective? Well, you know, that's home field advantage for Army. Um, normally, we play at neutral places. Um, and so the fans are, are kind of equal. I don't I don't know how it's going to be there, but, you know, they know all the where all the landmines are. On their <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll Did a uh, sweeper right in there, it'd be all right. Were there landmines in Annapolis? No, there's no landmines. Oh, okay. We're in the ocean. We... <laughs> <laughs> well said. That's something an Air Force guy would say. He's Napoleon McCallum. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Blitz, and I'm talking to two Navy guys. As Army-Navy Week is upon us, America's game. And while we are meeting virtual with Napoleon, if you want to uh, – Go to the game next year. Show us your fandom. Go to armyhouse.com. Up, upload your fandom if you're a Navy fan. you got a couple to listen to right now in Jason Minnix and Napoleon McCallum. You know, as we talk about the significance of the game, Napoleon, you know, you brought up something I think is very important. We're so accustomed to gathering in a city and bringing the disparate sides, the Army and the Navy types, for this one day of, of uh, unity and fighting and all that that goes into, you know, the Civil War, as uh, John Feinstein had called it. What is missing and what can we do to him? improve kind of our fandom this week and as we get ready for army navy well you can go to the army navy house uh usaa has, has put together the army navy house and you go there and you can submit uh, pictures of your favorite army navy game experience and hopefully you'll win uh an opportunity to come to the next army navy game that'll be played in new york Man, so New I'm York going City through the Army year. Navy house right now, and and just looking at all the pictures from the fans, and it, it's kind of brings back memories. ArmyNavyHouse.com is the website again. Uh, the game is Saturday, two o'clock here in San Antonio on CBS, and always such a great event. Then, of course, you've got an NFL weekend on Sunday. And Napoleon, we can't have you on and not talk some NFL football. Uh, the, the, and, and it's such a weird year with no fans. Uh, but you are so instrumental in helping the Raiders move from California to Las Vegas. And I, and I know uh, Mr. Davis hasn't gone to a game yet, or he says he's not going to a game until fans go. But what does it mean to have the Raiders in Vegas in, in your mind? Uh, it, it's really awesome. Vegas has always wanted an NFL team, and it was kind of the, one of the things that when I first got here almost 20 years ago that they said the only thing that Vegas is missing is a, a professional football team. And we got it with the Raiders, one of the best professional football teams with the Raider Nation. And so, it, oh, man, it, it, everything was just set up for this this year for them coming here and having – we're going to have the draft here and all the things they were going to do for the draft. This is, this is truly a, a football city. And when – Hopefully next year we'll open it up and let everyone see how much of a football city Las Vegas is.
Napoleon McCallum joining us here on the Blitz. And Napoleon, I think you're downplaying your role in the uh, the Raiders arriving in Las Vegas. Certainly your contacts with the, the Raider organization and your deep roots there in Las Vegas played a, a huge role in them arriving. You know, we're coming to you from San Antonio, Texas, another football crazed city that is desperate for professional football. And, and, and your role as a go-between and kind of a, 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 a you know, a kind of grease in the wheels to get things done. What does San Antonio and your mind need to be focused on to draw an NFL franchise to our place? Boy. (laughs) Boy. (laughs) You got yours. Tell us the secrets, man. I've been in Vegas for 20 years, and so I've been talking to people. We had the XFL here. We saw how the fans loved um, the XFL, how, how they supported the XFL team that was here. And so when the Raiders were looking for a place to move to, I mean, I was just blessed with this perfect uh, situation where we had a city that wanted uh, a team, an NFL team that needed a place to go. You know, uh, San Antonio was on that short list that uh, lost out to Las Vegas, although as a football fan, and, and I'm curious, you know, because you keep talking about Las Vegas being a football city, I think it's, I don't know what kind of home field advantage the Raiders will actually have because, you know, I, I'm a Cowboy fan. Cowboys are playing the Raiders in Las Vegas. Me and my buddies, we're going. We're making it a weekend and going to an NFL game. Do you anticipate that being uh, the overwhelming majority of the fans when they do allow fans back in the stadiums? I think that it has been proven that this is a football town because the stadium sold out quicker than any other stadium in the country. Yeah, there is that. But, you know, <laughs> is it going to be half the other uh, uh, the Raiders well, ever going to have a home game? I don't game? even know how the Dallas people are going to go to the game. We already bought all the tickets. You know, it, it, it's funny you say that. You go to a game at Jerry World, and there's so many fans from the other teams there that are buying them on the secondary market because it's a destination stadium. You know, kind of like the new one in L.A. and the, and the new one in, uh, in in Vegas. It does become one of those stadiums. I want to go see the stadium, and I want to go see my team play in that stadium. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. So we're going we're gonna to make money off of the people coming here, selling uh-huh. our tickets. Then we're going to make money off of them gambling in Las Vegas, and yep. so we'll we'll wish them well. And and Let, let's uh, let's be honest, man. We're all hoping to get them from our M Life rep. You know, if the M Life reps got them, MGM, they they'll, they'll, they'll take care of you and get you to the game. <laughs> He is Napoleon yeah. McCallum sitting in Las Vegas as we talk professional football. During the week of America's game, Army-Navy coming up Saturday at 2 o'clock. ArmyNavyHouse.com to show your fandom so you can actually try to win a, a seat at the game in New York next year. You, you know, Napoleon, uh, here in San Antonio, David Robinson is certainly an icon here. You guys were in the same environs at the same time there at Annapolis back in the, the 80s. Anything from way back when that hasn't been unturned that we can kind of <laughs> Talk about David a little bit when we see him. You know, something that maybe might be a little uncomfortable for him that you can let us know. No, uh, you know what? Nothing that was uncomfortable. I, one neat thing. I think David came to my house when I was in um, uh, Alameda, and uh, he almost, you know, hit his head on on in my doorway. <laughs> But, uh, no, D- Dave is a great guy and everything. Got to see him play uh, when he came down to L.A., let me uh, go to a game and everything. And, and David's done a great job there in San Antonio. You guys are indicative of what the Naval Academy uh, represents, as does the uh, Army, uh, as does West Point, as we get closer and closer to the game. You know, Napoleon, this has been an interesting time, and certainly your part in this as we get closer and closer to the game plays a huge role. Speak to the just the, in general what Navy and what that was for you in that part of your life and what it means to you today. Well, you know, being in the Navy or playing yes, in our Army Navy yes, game, all of that—the the, the the experience of being a cadet and everything from that point on. Yeah, well, it's midshipman, <laughs> and yes, uh, no, it, it's pretty awesome. Uh, Air Force, I, gonna, he's an Air cadets. Force guy, Napoleon. Really Sorry, man. <laughs> so I've got like a Raider reunion uh, Zoom call to do, and I'm going to get in my dress white have all my medals and everything and go on the zoom call to all my Raider alumni. 
So, um, you know, just to show them, you know, tell them about the Army Navy game and that they ought to be watching this game because it's a it's a big game and it's full of people with great character who um, are going out to play their last football game. Some of those guys, and then they're going to go on the battlefield for the United States of America, and they're going to fight together. And we're going to do whatever we we've got to do to protect this country. And so uh, really, really proud of those guys, proud of my service and and the service of my fellow um, military people. And, you know, the difference, Napoleon, is, as you say that uh, the difference between an, an athlete and a non-athlete that served is, you know, years after you had to actually wear your dress whites, they still fit you. Most of us. Truth. Uh, there's no way, <laughs> no way would they still fit. You, you, you know, just pop them on, I man. They're good to go. Out the back. <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon McCallum. In, in my mind, Napoleon is the only former NFL player that can complain to the younger generations. When I played, I had two jobs. I went to work every day at the Navy, and then I went and played pro football. And you guys are complaining for days off there in OTAs. I had two jobs. He is Napoleon McCallum. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Napoleon. It, it's an honor and a pleasure to speak to a, a, a true oh, hero in, in, in you every guys. sense of the word. Hey, show your fandom. Go to ArmyNavyHouse.com. Uh, upload your picture. Whether you're a cadet or a plebe or a space cadet, it doesn't matter. It's a civil war. Uh, it's Napoleon, go Navy. thanks for joining us. Go Navy, <laughs> beat Army. <laughs> go Navy! There it is. Thanks, Napoleon. Take care. we got a lot more coming. All right. Direction. You're welcome. <laughs>